So many threads. The other day I made this beauty out of scraps and I'm dying to use it. Of course you can do anything with it. A bread bag, a tablecloth, a little quilt for a baby, anything. But what I'm dying to do is a little mini skirt. Some time ago I saw a collection from Dolce Gabbana, spring 2021, so I was a bit late and it was patchwork, everything patchwork, it was really beautiful and I didn't take the lip because uh, I thought it would have been difficult with different fabrics in the same one, how would they behave, so but it doesn't matter, I'm going to do it. I have no excuse now. I'm going to add it a lining because uh, it's quite ugly on the inside and that way uh, all the seams will be nicely finished and I haven't got a lining fabric but I do have some poplin that I'm going to be using in brown. Of course we're going to start by taking our measurements. For a skirt it's really easy, you only need three measurements so don't be afraid because you can do it quite easily. We're going to need our waist contour and if you're not sure where your waist is you just have to bend yourself and when you, where you find the, the pleat that's where your waist is. So we're going to need our waist contour then we're going to need our hip contour and then the height, the hip height. So we're going to need from the waist to our hip and the skirt height. This is a mini and I'm going to need a mini because I haven't got much fabric so I'm going to fold it in half and this is my measurement like 40 centimeters more or less but depending on your taste you can make it longer as well. It doesn't really matter it's just adding more centimeters. So these are basically the measurements you're going to need to make your skirt block which is quite useful because instead of measuring yourself every time and uh, putting those measurements on your fabric you are going to trace around this so it's much quicker and easier so I leave you the link down here if you want to have a look and you tell me what you think in my case my measurements are 68 centimeters waist 93 centimeters hip contour and 25 hip height from waist to hip so to trace it we're going to use, because we're going to use the same pattern for front and back, we're going to trace half these contours. So in my case if I am 68 centimeters waist I'm going to be tracing half of it which is 34. So this 34 centimeters we're going to trace half of it because we need the half of the paper to trace the hip measurement so it's not twisted and it's centered. One thing we're going to do is to lower the waistband by one centimeter the waistline so it's uh, more comfortable to wear and it has the shape. And now to join the two lines we have to trace it with a bit of a curve so it's nice and comfortable to wear and you can trace it with your ruler and then make a curve so it's nicer and a bit more organic as well. From your hip line down you can add any centimeters you want depending on the skirt length you want. I'm going to do it like 40 centimeters more or less and uh, you need a centimeter on each side for ease, uh, for ease of movement so it's not uh, it's not tight and you can walk and it doesn't move weird apart from your seam allowance of course and then take into account that we just lower down the uh, waistline a bit a little bit on the middle so then if we don't do the sides it's going to have like little peaks on the side at the bottom so we have to make sure it measures the same all around it
So because of the inside, of course, it's patchwork, so it looks terrible. <laughs> I'm going to interfacing. It's going to be a bit thicker, but I think it's worth it because it's, if not, it'll look really weird with all the different fabrics. I prefer it to look just um, flat. And now that I know that the front is quite flat, I'm going to iron on the back so the interfacing, uh, the glue, uh, sticks properly to the fabric. I'm going to cut my fabric and sew my panels right sides together so I can then top stitch and add the zipper. And for the lining I'm going to sew it right sides together so I can put the skirt inside and sew the top, turn it in and finish by hemming it. I'm going to start by sewing right sides together my skirt and then I'm going to top stitch by opening the first seam I did. Why top stitching? Because it gives it strength. I'm a fan of top stitching and of course in hard fabrics like this one or too many layers it makes it settle. And then on the side of the zip, I'm going to do the same, opening my seam and placing the zip on top. And that way I'm doing two things at once, which is sewing the zip in place and top stitching, because I'm going to continue top stitching all the way down, making sure and I reinforce the bottom of the zip. And of course now, being really careful, I'm going to open this first seam until the point where I reinforced it. I'm definitely a fan of this way of sewing zips because you don't have to uh, make sure of uh, anything twisting, you just have to sew on top. The seam is already done, so you just have to place the zip on top and sew it together. You don't have to uh, be measuring anything and making sure nothing twists, so it's quite good. I'm not going to top stitch the lining, I don't think it's necessary, it's going on the inside. So what I'm going to do is to hem the top where the zip is going to open, so I don't have to uh, maneuver anything later, Just it's just sewn properly first. With my skirt and lining made, I'm going to put the skirt inside the lining right sides together so I can hem the top.
So with my lining inside and sewn, I'm going to top stitch again on top. Why top stitching? Uh, you usually when you have a lining or a facings you under stitch, but because I have so many fabrics, so many seams and the interfacing is too much. So in order for it to settle a bit, I'm going to top stitch it going down on the zip I'm coming up so I sew everything together. So this is looking good, I'm quite pleased with it so far, but it's been a bit of a challenge to sew, too many fabrics, too many seams. So now the hem, for the hem I'm going, I can't double hem or anything like that, so what I'm going to do is to fold the lining in and fold the uh, skirt in and sew on top, top stitch again. So it's sewn together and that will be it. So challenge completed. I'm quite happy with it. I think it looks really good and you can wear it in summer or in winter with tights. I'll be wearing it a lot now I think and uh, it was a bit of a challenge to sew in the sense of when you are preparing all the little pieces. Patchwork takes so much time but it's worth it and this is proof that you can make something fashionable, something different, something cool and fun out of little scraps, not only pouch bags or uh, tablecloths. So let me know down in the comments what you thought, if you've tried something like this and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and stay here for a while because I leave you a link to fashion without patterns. You don't need patterns to create your own fashion and your own wardrobe. And I'll see you around. Bye. Hola, hola, hola.